Today we are going to show part two of apple apple brandy and how we're going to make it. Uh, today is distillation day and then later on we're going to find out where the second part of the apple comes into play. Okay, so welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is the channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. So let's get started. Like I said in the intro, Today is distilling day for our apple apple brandy. Uh, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to check our final gravity of our mash and make sure that the fermentation has been complete. So let's get going. Okay, so while it's still starting to warm up, I need to connect up some uh, water lines. First, my drain line. I think it just screws in the sink. I got a quick cup on there, so that's one drain line there. Now I got one for cold water in. Connect that up. I got it so I can just plug it into the wall. And I just take a couple clamps, but here just keep them, keep them organized a little bit. Okay, so next step I gotta do is let it still warm up. Okay, just a quick update. My still's heating up. Now one of the most important things I think you can do uh, is, is feel your column. And you can feel it's, it's starting to get ready to come up. I mean, right down here on the bottom, near near the uh, cone, she's getting pretty hot. And as I feel up the column, you can actually start to feel it. Okay, so you keep an eye on that and get ready to cut the heat back. And uh, so, but she'll be a couple more minutes yet. My head temperature it still hasn't really broke. It rose a little bit, maybe. I mean, it's uh, 90 degrees up top. Uh, the pot temperature is about 160. So, she'll, she'll start rising up soon. We'll be back. Okay, just so your information, I'm running in pot still mode. I get the water going to well, I call it a shot condenser, but it's actually called a Lee Big condenser here. Uh, my my pre uh, condenser here is the, the water to it is just actually turned off. Okay, and we are just starting to produce a little bit of four shots. That's the methanol coming off. Uh, it's very pungent smelling and since this is a uh, fruit based mash I'm going to collect a full six ounces of heads and discard them. I will actually use them for cleaning products not discard them but we will not use them in our final product. Okay so we got a little more time heating up. It's going to be getting close. If we Feel our column is getting pretty hot down here, and you can feel where the level of vapors coming up. She's getting, she's coming up all the time. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, temperature, it came up, it comes up quick. So you gotta be make sure that you're ready to cut her down. And, it, and that's, the head temperature went from uh, 90 degrees. Right now it is at 100 and, that's 65 or better. And it went there lakey split. So, now we'll get the column to balance. And, uh... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to collect off our first six ounces. Like I said before, because this is a fruit-based uh, mash, and you're going to have more methanol in a fruit-based mash than you would, let's say, you know, corn or a grain mash. You know, grain mash. Okay, so just to be safe, we're going to take the first six ounces off. And uh, if, you, if you notice, I mean, up here, after it's hot. And on this side of your condenser, it's nice and cold. Okay, so I got cold water coming in the bottom, comes out the top. Like I said before, I'm not using my uh, pre-condenser. I got the valve shut off on it. I got a little bit of reflux action where it's just coming up the uh, column and and, and is dropping out. If I, uh, I mean, it's actually starting to smell pretty good at the very beginning. It was, uh, it was uh, a lot like um, fingernail polish remover. Now it's it's starting to smell pretty good. Okay, so what we'll do is, I mean, our head temperature is. About 175, 176. We got a nice little. I mean, I got a nice broken stream if you can see that. Okay. I am going to use my parrot today. So, like I said before, six ounces. We'll discard that or actually put it in cleaning products. Okay. So, here in a little bit, we're going to start collecting. We'll do a small. Small cut jar first, probably a, you know half a, a quarter pint because that's a and half that jar, and then we'll collect this out. Okay. Okay, so we just got uh, our parrot got just got full. Right at this present time, we're coming off at 150 degree or 150 proof. Let me have a little taste of it. Wow, this is going to be nice. This is going to be nice. Okay, so for a quick update, we're at one, two, three quarts, just starting our fourth quart. Uh, according to the parent, we're coming off right now about 100 proof, just a little bit higher than 100 proof. Okay, and our head temperature is about 195. So, we'll be getting close to the end here. Uh, I usually stop when we get around 200, 202. We're about done in my book, uh, and but well, let's, let's say we'll we'll get a little bit more out of here. So uh, we'll be back and give you an update. Okay, so I think this this run just about one in the books. Uh, off my parent, I'm running. Da -da 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 -da. If I get it turned the right way. It's about 85 per, uh, proof, about 
200 degrees up on the head. Uh, Still don't taste too bad. I think she's coming near the end. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to shut down. And then what we'll do is uh, cover these up, just cover these up with some. I, I usually use paper towels over top of them just to keep anything out of them. And then what we'll do tomorrow is. We'll let them. We'll let them breathe for 24 hours, and then we'll come back. And what we'll do is, we'll taste and smell each one. But I've been tasting as we've been doing here, and I think they all taste pretty damn fantastic. To be honest with you. So anyway, we'll decide what we want to keep. We'll mix them all together, and then I'm gonna put it on oak for a very short, very short time, and then we'll go on from there. And then you'll get ready to see what the other apple is. Okay, so I'm gonna get this shut down. And what we'll do is, like I said, so we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Let's check these things out. I mean, I pretty much tasted everything when it was coming off the still. Everything is. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be keeping everything. Not that one, though. Mm. I mean, I can taste the apple. Kind. I mean, you can taste it. Uh, I'm gonna put that. The apple's there, but if uh, if if I gave that to you and, and let you taste it without you knowing, you probably you couldn't say, "Well, that's apple." But since I know it's apple, it really tastes good, though. So I think this whole things will turn out fantastic. And this last one I'm gonna put in my, my fire. Actually, I'll save that as my fake some fake. To uh, 90 proof, and uh, I normally go 80, but you'll you'll find out why. So each one of these, I got uh, just about three quarts in each one. I'm gonna put a half ounce of chips in it. I just want a little bit. Let me put a half ounce in this one. Half ounce in this one. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that color up a little bit. I didn't, I wanted a light color. And then after that, uh, I think I'm gonna give it one to two days, depending on. And then uh, we'll show you what's next. It'll be pretty interesting. Okay. So we'll at least see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so we're going to finish up our apple apple brandy. Alright, it's been 24 hours. Look at the beautiful color on that. Can you see that? Okay, so now I want to filter out the wood chips. So what I'll do is I'll put it through a couple coffee filters. I give them to work right for me. Oh, the smell is fantastic. 
Okay, so let me get this uh, filtered down and then we'll show you what's next. Okay, so I did run all that brandy through a couple coffee fillers. It is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, I did save me one little jar here just for. Uh... Wow. Just for a control. Oh, that's good. So, what I'm going to do, this is the second part of the apple. I got some red delicious apples and I got some grainy smiths. These are nice and sweet. These are on the tart side. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these up. I think I'm gonna fill mason jar about half full of the apples, top it off with the apple brandy, and I believe, I hope, that's gonna give her a nice flavor. And we'll have to wait and find out. Okay, so let me get cutting these apples up. I don't want to bore you with that, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I got my apples cut up, put in my quart jars. Now we'll top them off with our brandy. is our apple apple brandy that just looks so delicious I'm hoping in uh, I, hopefully in a few weeks I'm gonna give it a taste it sure does look fantastic uh, I do have a control here so this is just plain of the apple I was thinking about maybe putting a tablespoon of sugar in there just to uh, back sweeten it a little bit but I decided not to at this time figuring that I could always add it in a little bit later but uh, it uh, whew, I think it's gonna be good okay like I said there's our apple apple brandy. I'll report back to you in a future date. We'll have a tasting on it. This has been a real fun project. Uh, I probably will do it again. I guess the last thing I can say is, hey, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.